Johnson and Congress were in a street fight, going at each other tooth and nail. When the president dismissed Secretary of War Edwin M. Stanton against Congress's wishes, the House of Representatives, in a move unprecedented in American history, initiated impeachment proceedings against the President of the United States for high crimes and misdemeanors. The Senate trial dragged on for 11 weeks. When it was over, Johnson had escaped impeachment by only a single vote. That November, the American people elected war hero Ulysses S. Grant as the 18th president of the United States. Black voters helped put Grant over the top. The Republicans didn't have enough white support in the South to build Republican parties. So they looked to black votes to build Republican parties so that the Democratic Party wouldn't take over. And what they needed to do was to protect black ballots. And the best way to protect black ballots was through a constitutional amendment. To make sure that Southern whites didn't take the vote away from black men, the Republicans wrote a 15th Amendment for the Constitution, which forbade states to deny the right to vote on account of race, color, or previous servitude. It allowed African Americans to participate in American society on an equal basis for the first time. And this was radical to many whites because the thought was, hey, these people are not equal to us. 